uh, dear brothers and sisters from the other invited schools and uh, distinguished guests. So uh, you, some of you might already know me, uh, some might have heard of me, some might be not. So uh, before moving to details, uh, I believe that you all have the right to know who is talking to you, to whose speech that you are listening. So uh, may, let me go through a um, little introduction about myself. Uh, thank you for the wonderful introduction given in the beginning, but I would like to like quickly go through um, a little introduction. I hope that I can share my screen. Can you please allow me to uh, share my screen? All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so um, this is about me. So this is my educational journey. So I had my primary and secondary education uh, from Sirmo Bandanak Vidyalaya. I did my A-levels in 2008. Now don't guess my age. So I was one of the deputy head prefects and I did swimming. I was a swimming captain of Sirmo. And uh, I did drama and I did so many things. And quizzing was one of the main things that I did while I was uh, in Sirmo. So then I entered University of California to uh, get my a bachelor's. So I graduated with a BS uh, honors first class in environmental sciences. That's in the year 2015. And then uh, while I was attending to University of California, I attended the Institute of Chemistry Ceylon as well to uh, get my BSc honors in chemistry. So I graduated from there in year 2013. I graduated from there before I graduated from California. So after completing my bachelor's there, I came to United States uh, after getting a full scholarship to do my master's. So I got my master's in biology in 2018. And currently I'm a PhD student at the University of North Texas, okay? So other than my academic background, I would like quickly go through, this is me. I have done a little bit of modeling. So you have to trust that it's me. And I'm a scuba diver. So I have done a little bit, not a little bit. I have done scuba diving. I have the diving uh, certificate. And I do some field research right now as well. I'm a biologist and an ecologist. So I do some research. And I'm the author of the page, maybe you have heard. I'm the author of the page, uh, Supi. That's my personal blog that I write on Facebook, right? So that's how majority of uh, you all, if you have heard of me, uh, know about myself. So that's the little bit about myself. Uh, okay, I will stop sharing the screen. Okay, right. So um, what am I here to talk about is uh, I have a little bit to talk about my quiz, quizzing journey that I started in uh, Sirimao like 15 years ago. Again, don't judge my age. So uh, then, so back then, once I first started quizzing, actually, guys, to be honest, I don't know how I ended up in the quiz team. Right in Sirimo, I don't know how I ended up because um, back then we did not have a quiz club. Now I was so happy to see how organized these girls are, how how far that they have come uh, in the quiz club. Back then we did not have a quiz club, so whenever we get an invitation, we just get together and we go. We form a team and we go. Right. So I have a lot of experiences, a lot of fun stories to share with you all, but I don't have that time to do. So um, I have shared some of those stories on my page. If you have time, just go and read. So um, I started my quizzing journey like that. And um, so what's, what's so important about quizzing, right? So that's the main thing that the organizing committee wanted me to talk about. So I will, um, I'm not planning to talk for a long time, but I want to just briefly tell you what are the, uh, benefits that I gained from quizzing and how I feel about quizzing. So I'm basically going to talk about three points, right? How quizzing would be important for you all. And uh, this, this would be an aspect that you, you all have to think and you all have to give a credit to yourself because you all are qu uh, quiz competitors. So you all have to give the credit to yourself. After listening to this uh, story, you will feel proud about, about yourself, okay? So the first thing is the cognitive skills. Uh, quizzing improves your cognitive skills. Cognitive skills are the skills which is associated with the brain. 
So that's the brain skills which are needed in acquisition of knowledge, processing and manipulating the knowledge, and then reasoning and applying that knowledge. So in quizzing, we do all this, right? We uh, acquire knowledge, we process it. Whenever we see a question, we have to process the knowledge that we already took. We have to remind, remember what we learned before, and we have to apply accordingly. We have to reason and apply. So our cognition increases by quizzing without you even know that, right? You don't know that it happens, but it happens. So I saw the speed that those questions went on. You were given just 30 seconds to read that entire paragraph and find the answer. But I hope that you all did that, right? So not every average person could read in that speed. So being a quizzer, I myself um, feel that I can read so fast. Uh, I'm not a regular reader. I don't read a lot right now. I've, I used to be a reader, but not anymore. So um, I still can read really fast because I used to read and I used to go to these quiz competitions and in that pressure, I had to like work really fast. We, our brains should work really fast. So that's one thing, the cognitive skills. And uh, the other thing is our decision-making would be really fast, right? So you are given a very small amount of time. The time is very constrained. You have to take your decisions really fast. Uh, and those decisions should be informed. You cannot just take decisions. You have to take informed decisions. So that you you all did right now, right? Right before my uh, speech, you all took informed decisions and find the answers. So that's one thing. And uh, the other thing is quizzing helps you in overall your academics as well, because in your exams, you have to read the questions fast. You have to give the answers really fast. You have to process the questions really fast. So you learn all this. Quizzing is kind of a pre-test um, pre or a pre-practice um, to all your exams. So doing quizzing, like that, there is a no means Sri Lanka that doing uh, co-curricular activities and extracurricular activities is not so good. Like some parents don't want their kids to do those. So, but that's, that. I, I don't agree with that because I did a lot of co-curricular and extracurricular activities and my life never went wrong. So actually this, every, everything that I did so far along my uh, journey helped me to uh, become who I am. So uh, I'm so happy that you all are also in the same field. So uh, let's, I talk about the cognitive skills. So the second one is the social skills. So because of quizzing, we have read, we are well read and we know about a lot of things in the world. So we become some interesting people to talk with. You know, people like to talk to us. And also uh, we become fast conversation builders. You know, whenever uh, we meet somebody, we have something to talk with them because we can relate to them. Even if they, if they are from a different background, a different cultural background, we can relate to them and we can talk with them. So I will give you just one example, because since I'm living in the United States right now, I get to talk with a lot of people from different cultural uh, backgrounds. So there was one friend that I met. She was a black lady. She was black in color. So uh, she, once I first got to know, uh, she told, so we asked like, oh, where are you from? So I knew that she's not from the uh, US because she had a thick accent. So I was like, oh, where are you from? Then she said, I'm from Grenada. So I'm like, oh, you're from Caribbean. So she's like, have you heard of Grenada? So I'm like, yeah, I have heard. That's a Caribbean island, right? So she was, she was so happy that I knew her country. She was like, you know what? You're the one of the few people who knew where Grenada is. A lot of people ask whether Grenada is an African country. You know, same thing happens to me as well, guys. When I say that I'm from Sri Lanka, like a lot of people ask me to show me where Sri Lanka is. Some, some think it's, a, it's an African country. Some uh, take me to the uh, world map and ask me to point where Sri Lanka is. So I have gone through all those. You know, so I think, oh, my goodness, where, where are these people coming from? You know, you don't know where countries are in the world. So so that that lady was super happy that I know where Granada is. Same thing happened with another friend of mine who is from Mexico. She was so angry that people think that Mexico is a Southern American country. No, Mexico is a Northern American country. Northern America has 23 countries. Mexico is one of those. So she, she was like, Supuni, I'm so happy that, you know, Mexico is not South America. It's not North America. I'm so angry whenever people say that Mexico is South America. You know, that's the same feeling that I get when somebody asks me, oh, is Sri Lanka part of India? 
you know, that's the same feeling that I get. So, uh, so because of quizzing, because, thanks to quizzing, we are well aware and well informed about the world uh, and we are updated. So that's a social skills. And also when uh, we are on quiz teams, when we are on quiz clubs, we tend to work with groups. We become team players. Now you all had four players, four uh, people in each group. So you all have to, I, I believe that you all had the opportunity to discuss among yourselves and find the answer. So that's a skill guys. That's not something that everybody has. You know, uh, sometimes you might argue over an answer and you will have to like keep yourself shut up and like give the others, other people to uh, find the answer and give the answer. So that's that's another skill that we all acquire by participating in this. And also when organizing such uh, events like this, you all have to network, you all have to interact with a lot of people, you all have to uh, organize uh, stuff, plan ahead. So, um, get ready for the uh, for any any technical difficulties and all so all these are social skills so all these would help you definitely in your future lives okay so that's the second thing the social skills the third thing i'm uh, planning to talk about is the self confidence that's the uh, firm trust that we have on ourselves so when you uh, participate in such events even though no matter whether you uh, whether you win or whether you lose, that's not a problem. But just participating itself gives you some satisfaction. You know, you feel good about yourself. Now, uh, during this pandemic, you all decided to participate in this event. Uh, City Mawa Quiz Club decided to host this event, organize this event. So those are big steps. So that's why I'm, I said, like, you all have to give you a big credit because a lot of people in the world right now are depressed. They are anxious about their uh, lives. They are uh, suffering. They are under depression. So you all battled all those while doing productive stuff like this, right? I don't say that you all are not depressed. I'm not saying that you all are uh, not having anything else to worry about. But uh, in, in the middle of all those, you all decided to join this or uh, City Mawa Quiz Club decided to pause this event. So that's a big step. So self-confidence. That, that's your confidence. So um, uh, so those are the three points that I decided to talk because I'm just given 15 minutes to talk. So I cannot like go beyond 15 minutes. Uh, so you are, because of the uh, quizzing or quiz experience that you all develop your cognitive skills, you develop your social skills and you build your self-confidence, which is the most important thing to succeed in uh, your life. So while uh, I was getting prepared myself uh, to this speech, I went down my memory lane and I was thinking of the other quiz members who were with me back in uh, uh, like back like 15 years ago, back in school days. I was thinking like I, I, I try to keep in touch with my friends. I have the I have the contacts with them, but sometimes I'm not sure what they're really doing. So I went to their Facebook profiles and I start checking like what, what are they really doing right now? So I remember that I had three other uh, friends of mine who we were uh, we went to the uh, Future Minds. That's that's why I can uh, really remember that because that's a TV program. So we have to like it's a live quiz. So it was kind of very uh, you know uh, it's very intense. I would say uh, so. And the, the answer should be given all by ourselves by pressing a buzzer. So I remember that entire setup. So I went back down my memory lane and I was thinking like, okay, so uh, we had four members. Out of those four members, uh, one decided to do arts for her or A-levels. The others did biological sciences, including myself. So I ended up in the United States doing my PhD. So I'm like a year and a half uh, behind my PhD. So uh, the other friend, is right now a doctor and she's specializing specializing in oncology at Apexha Hospital. So she's a doctor. The other one, I was not so sure. So I had to go and check uh, her Facebook profile and I realized that she's a lecturer in pharmacology and pharmaceutical sciences. So we all, and the, the girl who did ads, she's a lawyer now. So can you see like all four of us are in like really good positions right now. So I, I'm sure that you all will also end up in like way better positions 
because you all have better opportunities, better resources than we what we had. And also, I met some interesting uh, characters during my uh, undergrad at Kalania. So there was one friend of mine who was who was a royalist. So he did a lot of uh, quizzing back then. Uh, we were friends uh, since school age. So we came to the uh, university also together. So he was heavily into quizzes that blue and gold and all those. And he's doing his PhD right now in University of Colombo. And uh, he authored several books in conservation biology and he uh, discovered some new species, some dragonfly species. So he's going in his, uh, his field, like the maximum uh, fat that he can go. And there's another friend that I met uh, at Kalania. He's an Isipathanian. So right now he was also uh, heavily into quizzing. Uh, now he completed his PhD like a few months ago, and now he's a NASA scientist. He's a scientist in NASA, in the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. So can you see like all those people who were involved in quizzing have ended up in real good positions or like going to end up in real good positions. So that's why I said you all have to feel really good about yourself. You, you all have to have that confidence that you all will be succeeding in your future. So um, last but not least, I, I will wrap up my uh, speech because I don't want to go beyond time. So last but not least, I want to congratulate all the participants for uh, taking that giant step and deciding to come and participate in this uh, event in the middle of the pandemic. And all the very best uh, and congratulations, uh, Cinema Quiz Club for coming this far and organizing this beautiful event with 300 odd participants. It's not a big, it's not an easy thing. Uh, to organize such an event, especially online with the technical difficulties, especially in a country like Sri Lanka, right, where internet and electricity is not stable at all. So uh, I'm really happy to see that the younger generations uh, generation is going like uh, are like really ahead of us. So uh, I'm I would like to take this uh, time to congratulate all the participants, and I don't know I'm eagerly waiting to see the final results. Uh, I know that I will not be able to see the final results until 9th, but uh, all the very best for the upcoming uh, upcoming rounds. And uh, have a good life, guys. Like, all the very best for you. everything, every future endeavor that you do.